what we have here is the uh, foot. There's a brass fitting right on the bottom of the foot here, which is larger than the rest. It's approximately one inch. And I have gotten another one of these little uh, chair feet. And it's a one inch size. It takes a one inch dowel. So it's pretty close to the same size. So I'm going to make that little fitting from this. Okay, I have a one inch dowel, a short one inch dowel fits in there, but it fits kind of sloppy. So I drilled a hole with a forger bit in there, you know, about five-eighths of an inch deep, and then I cut the slot, the slot in it. And that's so that I can pull the pieces of wood out of there after I've cut it. Then I put blue tape around it so that I would snug, fit snug on the little cap. Now, there we go. It's nice and snug. That's what I want. Snug. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape it in position with blue tape and I'm going to put it right where I want to cut it. I'm going to put that tape and make a line right where I want it to cut. So that's going to hold it from spinning and it's going to give me a guideline. There we go. Okay. Now I get my cutter. Get it in there and I line it up with my line. There we go. Right there. So now I'm going to carefully and hold it in my hand and carefully follow that line around. And then I'll come back. Okay, I've got it started and I made a slight groove there. You can barely see it. Let's give me a track to, to go to. So now, I'm going to clamp it up. And it's clamp. So there it is. Now I can finish cutting. It's denting it in before it cuts. And that's what I want. I want a little, I want a flat cut. I want it sort of a finished look about it. Pretty close. I'm going to turn it and clamp a little bit. There we go. So I can finish off the one side. There we go. got it. That looks like it. Now, I'm going to pull off the tape 
And then I'm going to show you about taking the re finishing it off. Okay, so now it's cut. I got the tape off of it. I got to remove this little ring. And uh, it's, it's not easy to get that ring off. What I'm going to do is make sure it's loose. Then I'm, I'm going to get a uh, make a hole here. Get a screwdriver. Pry it up. That's it. Pry it up. Now I'm cutting it off. There we go. There we go. Now. Okay. So we got that. Now I'm going to go to the bandsaw and I'm going to cut that off. Okay, I've cut it off now. And you can see it's got where the hole in the slot is that it's loose. You can now, I can now pull it, right, pull it right out of there. See that? There it is. Just take a little sandpaper and uh, knock off the burrs. There it is. So there it is. It's all applied. There's the other side. Hard to tell the difference. It's all back together. You can see the three balls in the middle there. Two of them are the new ones I put in. Up at this corner, that's the replacement I did. There's the original. That's the replacement. They look pretty close. We go down to the bottom. There's a replacement, and there's the sticking ball that I made to put in down below. That's the whole thing. Close enough.